just absurdity in this House where the Liberals and this Prime Minister feels they don't have to owe taxpayers any explanation. Meanwhile, if it was them that owed CRA any money, they would be dragged by handcuffs out of their home and put into jail, but they are allowed to do whatever they feel. But the story that she told about the Prime Minister and how he, he rose and how he's changed his, his feelings on uh, parliamentary procedure is very, very interesting. And you know, there's a quote, I can't remember who said it, but it is said like this, power and money does not change who you are, it reveals who you are. And I am curious to hear my colleague's point of view on what she has witnessed in her familial experience in politics of what this Prime Minister was and what he has become. <clears throat> the Honourable Member for Hastings, Lennox and Addington. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the Honourable Member from Peterborough for her question. The most important value that Canadians look for in someone that is serving them in the House of the Common People, the House of Commons here in Ottawa, is that of trust, leadership, and respect. Continuously, when I speak with constituents, the common question is, first of all, what is the next election? Here. But more importantly, what is going on in Ottawa? Madam Speaker, the basic principle of the Conservative Party <coughs> is that people need to take responsibility for their actions. Yes. And maybe, just maybe, after nine years of this Liberal NDP government, this particular Prime Minister should start owning his heirs, step away, step back and consider the impact he is having on all Canadians.